द डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ ए पार्टिकल एग्जीक्यूटिंग सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन इज गिवेन बाई वाई इज इक्वल टू ए नॉट प्लस ए साइन ओमेगा टी प्लस बी कॉस ओमेगा टी देन द एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ इट्स ऑसिलेशन इज गिवेन बाई विच ऑफ दिस ऑप्शन हियर ए नॉट इज ए कॉन्स्टेंट ए इज कॉन्स्टेंट बी इज कॉन्स्टेंट ओमेगा इज ऑल्सो कॉन्स्टेंट विच इज कॉल्ड एज एंगुलर फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ द सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन T is the time instant and y is the displacement of the particle from the mean position. Let us solve this question now. So the same question is presented here. So our equation is given as y is equal to a naught plus a sine omega t plus b cos omega t. Let us start with the given equation. First of all, we will transpose this constant a naught on the left side. then we will get y minus a not is equal to a sin omega t plus b cos omega t now this right hand side thing a sin omega t plus b cos omega t is called as the linear combination of the trigonometric functions so what we can do now next step would be this we will be Multiplying with root a square to b square and dividing with root of a square to b square. Multiplying and dividing with the same thing will not change this anything. This will remain same function only. Okay. Then after that, in the next step, we keep this numerator root a square to b square outside the bracket, and the denominator root a square plus b square will send inside the bracket, which will come below this constant a and b, as seen here. now sin function and cos function are having these coefficients this and this let us see how to deal with this let us imagine that there exists a right triangle in which the base angle is phi and the base length is a this constant a and the height of the triangle is b which is same as this constant b then in this right triangle the length of the hypotenuse using pythagoras theorem will be root of a square plus b square then in this triangle we can write down sin phi and cos phi as this sin phi is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse b divided by root a square plus b square and cos phi will be equal to base upon hypotenuse a divided by root a square plus b square then we observe on the left side here that this a upon root a square plus b square can be written as cos phi and b upon root a square plus b square can be written as sin phi thus our function becomes this and outside we already have root a square plus b square now what to do with this thing which is inside the bracket here let us rewrite this as you see here we are getting cos phi into sin omega t in the next step we can just uh, Uh, rearrange them as sin omega t into cos phi, and similarly this term sin phi into cos omega t can also be written as cos omega t into sin phi. Just a rearrangement only. This expression is same as this expression. Now this quality in the bracket looks like a standard well-known formula. Here is the formula: sin of a plus b is equal to sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. so this function also looks like the same sin omega t cos phi looks like sin a cos b and cos omega t sin phi looks like cos a sin b that means this can be written as sin of a plus b that means in place of a we will write down omega t in place of b we will write down phi so this expression becomes sin of omega t plus phi in the next step so Root a square plus b square outside the bracket, and this bracket quantity will become sine omega t plus phi. And on the left hand side, we had y minus a naught. So we see on the right side that uh, we are getting a product of this root a square plus b square into sine function. Now, maximum value of the sine function is one plus one, as you know. So the right hand side maximum value would be root of a square plus b square multiplied by one. That is root a square plus b square, which is amplitude. Amplitude means the maximum value of the displacement of the particle. So, root a square plus b square is the amplitude of the given SHM. Here is the answer: root a square plus b square. 
But one may also ask why not option 1 is the answer. Why not we are adding this A0 to the right side. Actually here this A0 we are writing this Y minus A0 here. It means this A0 is actually the shifted mean position of the SHM. Actually this particle is not oscillating between uh, 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 between x is equal to a and minus a and the mean position is not x is equal to 0. Actually the mean position is y is equal to a naught. Mean position is actually shifted to the right side of the origin by amount a naught. So actually y is equal to a naught is the mean position. So from a naught further distance root a square to b square is the particle going to the right extreme and from a naught on the left direction a distance root a square to b square the particle is going to the left direction. So basically with respect to the distance a naught the particle will go to the right side by root a square plus b square and on the left side by distance root of a square plus b square. Thus root a square plus b square is only the amplitude of this SHM. Thank you for watching my video. My channel is youtube.com slash the physics guru. Kindly like this video, please write your comments for any further improvement in my video and you please share with your classmates so other students can also learn and please subscribe the channel. I am the physics guru. Thank you.